Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to go from this image to this outline PNG using only Figma and two plugins. So if you want to follow this tutorial with me, you will need to have Remove BG and Image Tracer pre-installed. If you don't, you can pause the video now, install them and continue with me once you have them. Step one is to remove the background and for that we're gonna select the image, right click, plugin and then remove BG and run it. This will take a couple of seconds, then you will have a brand new PNG without background. And of course, for this to work with this quality, you will need your image to have a big contrast between your character and the background. Step two is to create a trace and for that we're gonna select our new PNG right click plugin and then image tracer and the secret here is to go to show options and play with the threshold so that our our red outline covers our entire image and for that i already test and 255 works in this case we place the trace vector and now the step three is to adjust this new trace so it looks more as what we have on the right so for that we're gonna move the burger on top we're not, we're not gonna select the trace we're gonna change the color to white and we're gonna add a stroke the color of the stroke should be white too and here we're gonna change this to outside and play with the thickness of this stroke so that's it we have our image with the white outline that we want a bonus tip here is to add a drop down shadow to our trace so that we have this sticker looking. So we come here to effect, drop down shadow, and here we need to add a big blur and make this less transparent. Let's add more blur. And we can move the Y distance, and there you go. So that's how you create an outline PNG using only Figma. And now if you want to use this for other projects, you can group this to Command G and export this as PNG and you can paste it and use it in any project. So if you want to learn more about Figma and other designing tools like Protopy, follow me and see you in my next tutorial.